I'm continuing my reading here, and what I am doing in this series is I'm reading through the entire standard works of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This consists of the Bible, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine of Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. I am reading in a chronological order according to events, not according to publication or volume, so I will be skipping around a little bit. Right now, I am in the Book of Job. This is chapter 31. This will conclude Job's final monologue. It's a little bit longer than some of the other chapters, so we should still get through it in one video, but it'll be a little bit longer. So here we go. Chapter 31. Job invites judgment so that God may know his integrity. If he has done ill, he welcomes the penalties for such. I made a covenant with mine eyes. Why then should I think upon <clears throat> why then should I think upon a maid? For that portion of God is there is there from above. And what inheritance of the Almighty from on high? Is not destruction to the wicked and a strong punishment to the workers of iniquity? Doth not he see my ways and count all my steps? If I have walked with vanity, or if my foot hath, haste to, <coughs> hath hasted to deceit, let me be weighed in an even balance, that God may know mine integrity. If my step hath turned out of the way, and mine heart walked after mine eyes, and if any blot hath cleaved my hand, <laughs> to mine hands, then let me sow, and let another eat. Yea, let my offspring be rooted out. If mine heart have been deceived by a woman, or if I have laid wait at my neighbor's door, then let my wife grind unto another, and let others bow down upon her. For this is an heinous crime, yea, it is an iniquity to be punished by the judges. For it is a fire that consumeth to destruction, and would root out all mine increase. If I did despise the cause of my manservant or of my maidservant when they contended with me, what then shall I do when God riseth up? And when he visiteth, what shall I answer him? Did not he that made me in the womb make him? And did not one fashion us in the womb? If I have withheld the poor from their desires, or have caused the eyes of the widow to fail, or have eaten my morsel myself alone, and the fatherless hath not eaten thereof, for from my mouth he was brought up with me as with a father, and I have guided her from my mother's womb. If I have seen any perish for want of clothing or any poor without covering, if his loins have not blessed me, and if he were not warmed with the fleece of my sheep, if I have lifted up my hand against the fatherless when I saw my help in the gate, then let mine arm fall from my shoulder blade and mine arm be broken from the bone. Oh, yeah, this, this is, I got to pause here because Job said, look, if I've done this, I'll accept the punishment. If I've done this, I'll accept it. If I've done any of this, and he goes through, and I like some of the stuff he's, I mean, he's, he's getting pretty detailed in the uh, sins that he is listing off here. So, but uh, above, I want to say your first is right here. I made a covenant with my eyes. Why then should I think upon a maid? So he's, saying, he's talking about marriage there. And again, he mentions this, if my heart has been deceived by a woman, if I have laid wait at my neighbor's door. This is talking about adultery. And he describes this as a heinous crime. Yea, it is an iniquity to be punished by the judges, for it is a fire that consumeth to destruction. This, this is Job saying that adultery is kind of sows the seeds for the destruction of, of society. If society does not put an end to adultery, if society does not uphold marriage and the marriage covenant, then society will collapse. Powerful stuff. But he goes through a lot of other things and he's saying, look, if I've done any of this, then punish me, but let me know. This is, he says, this is where he, he again kind of accuses God, where he says, let me be weighed in an even balance. And this is a uh, symbol, or this is talking about the merchants at the time, everything was uh, valued by weight. So a pound of gold was worth the same amount as a pound of silver. And generally a pound of gold could be... Uh, you know, would buy a pound of grain, some you know, be, be about an even exchange. It was all based in weight. And so 
when you went to buy something, the merchant would have a scale or what was called balance, it's a balance scale, where you would put the weight on the one side and then stack your money up on the other until it evened out. Some uh, dishonest merchants would put a would have scales that were unbalanced so that it would make you put more money down. It was a way of cheating people. And he's saying, weigh me in an even balance. Let me know what I did wrong and make it just. I can accept a just punishment. And so he is, again, somewhat accusing God of being unjust in his dealings with Job. So let us continue here. No, I can't remember where I left off. Ah, here we are. Verse 23. For destruction from God was a terror to me, and by reason of his highness I could not endure. If I have made gold my hope, or have said to the fine gold, Thou art my confidence. If I rejoiced because my wealth was great, and because mine hand had gotten much. If I beheld the sun when it shined, or the moon walking, or the moon walking in brightness, and my heart hath been secretly enticed, or my mouth hath kissed my hand. This also were an iniquity to be punished by the judge, for I should have denied the God that is above. If I rejoiced at the destruction of him that hated me, or lifted up myself when evil found him, neither have I suffered my mouth to sin by wishing a curse to his soul. If the man of my tabernacle said not, Oh, that we had of his flesh, we cannot be satisfied. The stranger did not lodge in the street, but I opened my doors to the traveler. If I covered my transgressions as Adam, by hiding mine iniquity in my bosom, did I fear a great multitude, or did the contempt of families terrify me, that I kept silent and went not out of the door, or that one would hear me? Behold, my desire is that the Almighty would answer me, and that mine adversary had written a book. Surely I would take it upon my shoulder, and bind it as a crown to me. I would declare unto him the number of my steps, as a prince would, I'd go near unto him. As a prince would, i go near unto him. If my land cry against me, or that the furrows likewise themse- therefore, <laughs> furrows likewise thereof complain, if I have eaten the fruits thereof without money, or have caused the owners thereof to lose their life, let thistles grow instead of wheat, and cockle instead of barley. The words of Job are ended. So I'm going to leave that there. I don't think that I need to add much to what Job just said. We do see he is kind of still accusing God of being unjust in his suffering. But we will see what the reply is when we come back.